international development is working. Go ahead and stand up and move to um, where you align. Agree. Agree. Disagree. Disagree. So no one knows is what, we're, what the <laughs> consensus is. So a volunteer on the agree side. I would even stand here uh, because I think we really need some more optimism these days, right? <laughs> so if just me standing here can move some of your minds towards this side, I already did a good job. Thank now you. someone from the disagree side, if someone's willing to tell us a couple words about why you're over there. It's not working and we have to be mindful of it because um, I, can't, I literally saw the devastation international development industry is doing in our country. A lot of duplication of resources, you know, a lot of, um, um, you know, um, um, adding value to the corruption, existing corruption that's happening in the country. So on the ground, it's really not working. Someone from the middle. I think one thing that we are struggling with now is making sure that programs have clear exit strategies and are actually sustainable. We too often are still following the old models of international development that are very much go in, provide a service or a resource allocation, and then get out. And then it's making people more dependent, um, adding to corruption, as our colleague has just said. And then secondly to that is the funding streams don't necessarily align with what the needs are. Um, too often, development can be very imperial from the folks actually implementing the development, and instead of being more community-led with community solutions.